Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Unity tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, um, we're going to cover creating a new project and we are going to import the very simple and very probably very horrible uh, texture pack I made that we'll be using for a lot of the tutorials um, that I'll be making. Um, I want to note that uh, the tutorials will be broken up into two parts. Uh, one, which will probably come out really rapidly, uh, which will cover the actual editor itself. And the second one that will cover uh, specific games. And we're going to start small, uh, you know, with some games, you know, just clones of others like Pac-Man, not Pac-Man, uh, Pong, maybe Pac-Man. But we're going to start simple. And then I'm going to build a very large scale game. Uh, it won't look pretty, but the code will be useful for, say, whatever. Well, if you happen to actually be making that specific game, then I guess the code will be useful. Uh, but I will note I will not make an MMO tutorial at all. Like, at all. Maybe. Maybe one day. But no. Uh, sorry this intro is so long. The second thing is, uh, when I actually do hit the coding tutorials, which should be fairly soon, uh... I will be doing both Unity script or JavaScript uh, and C sharp versions. I will do the Unity script versions first, and then I will go back and redo it in C sharp. So you'll have access to both, and you can watch either one, and everything will be nice, and neatly organized in the playlist. Okay, so now that that long introduction about the actual Unity tutorial series is done. Uh, let's get started and actually, you know, learn how to use Unity. Okay, so right here we have the bootcamp demo loaded up. Uh, we're not going to talk about anything else uh, about the actual editor itself uh, in this particular tutorial. Um, but if you go up to File and New Project. Alright, now you're prompted with the project wizard. You have open project, which here you can see I've made an absolutely obscene amount of projects and loaded some, and most of these don't work, and I should probably get rid of them. Uh, oh, I should mention, you might actually have the island demo up and not the boot camp demo. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which one you have loaded, I just thought I would mention that. Now, when you go to create a new project, you're prompted with the project's location. And I'm just going to leave this one and the documents folder but I'm gonna make it create a new folder and I'm gonna call this unity tutorial and then I'm just gonna call this tutorial project I should call this unity tutorials okay now you could hit browse and you could actually navigate if you'd like um, now the second thing is you can import uh, predefined packages into uh, Unity, uh, sorry, your project. And obviously the more packages you select, the longer it will take to actually create the project. Uh, we're not going to uh, create or import any. Um, feel free if you would like to, you know, go on ahead and uh, import them all if you like. And if you have Pro, you could import all the Pro effects as well, um, which I have Pro. Uh, We'll actually probably bring them in as we need them later. Um, I guess you could go on and do it now, but I want to keep the the file size kind of tiny for the project itself until we actually do need it all. All right, so now I'm just going to click Create. And no, I don't want to save. And now it's going to reload. Okay, so now we're at our ever so lovely welcome to unity screen and we have our new project all right now what we're going to do is i'm going to right click in project and go to create folder alternatively you can actually go to create and folder if you'd like and i'm going to rename this folder i'm just going to left click once on it until we're prompted to rename it and i'm going to call this tutorial assets then i'm going to right click import package custom package 
desktop and I'm going to select the tutorial textures and hit open. Then we are prompted with the import package uh, settings and you can obviously uncheck them all or individually you can also preview them. They're just a whole bunch of very simple very basic tile textures I made. The yellow one sucks by the way. And I'm just going to click import. And we shall wait, and I'm going to pause it real quick while it imports them all. Okay, so another way to import, uh, I thought I should mention, is you can go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And I'm just going to drop, left click, and drag, and put them under Tutorial Assets. And there you go. They're already set up at 2048, and I also increased the Astropic Filtering Level for each texture. But these textures, you can adjust max size and everything if you'd like. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at all the movement widget widgets and the rest of the UI, which if you haven't already noticed, I have a custom one that I set up for myself. And we'll look at doing that. If you have any questions, uh, stop by my forums or my IRC, both of which are located inside of the description. Well, links to, rather. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing as well. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, you're also welcome to stop by the Unity 3D forums and ask questions there. Not about these tutorials, but just Unity in general. Okay, so I hope, this, hope you learned something in this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.